Hey everyone, welcome to our vlog of the sport chess. My name is Shirley May Arnabo and my group mates are Hi, I'm Katrina Aquino and this is Hi, I'm Rosalind the Bohe. Today we're going to be showing you how to play chess, the different moves you can make and the rules you need to follow. But first, a little bit of history about the chess. The history of chess can be traced back nearly 1500 years, although the earliest origins are uncertain. The earliest predecessor of the game probably originated in India before the 6th century AD. From India, the game then spread to Persia, and in Europe, the chess evolved into roughly its current form in the 15th century. How many pieces are in a full chess set? Each side of the chessboard starts with 8 pawns, 2 bishops, 2 knights, 2 rooks, 1 queen, and 1 king. So, how many of each piece should be in a chess set? There should be 34 pieces in a typical chess set. Each player will get all of the pieces described earlier in addition to one extra queen in case you are able to promote a pawn into a queen. So, how does one set up a chessboard? To set up a chessboard, let's start with setting up for the white. Place all 8 pawns on the second rock. Place your rooks on the bottom right and bottom left farthers square. Place your knights next to each rook. So here and over here. Place your bishops next to each knight. Put the queen on the same color as your pieces next to one of the two bishops. Place the king on the remaining square of the first pile next to the queen. Retreat the above steps on the opposite side of the board for black. So, how do you play chess? The game of chess is played with two players on opposing sides of a 64 or 8x8 square board. Each player alternates moving, with white going first, one piece at a time of their choice. The game ends when one player has checkmated their opponent's king, regardless how many pieces they have left on the board. A chess game can also end with a draw in a few different ways or one player resigning rather than playing out seemingly lost positions. Can I move more than one piece at a time? Only one piece can be moved in a single turn. Each player has the option to choose which piece they would like to move on their turn. Who goes first in chess? In the game of chess, white always goes first. A lot of people ask why white always goes first. Truth be told, white versus black is just how a lot of boards appear. In older times, pieces used to be red and black because of the types of ink commonly used. There are tons of variations of the chess boards, but the one we have here is the most common one. What should your first move be? There are a ton of different chess openings and none of them are perfect. The best first move is one that allows you to attack the center and develop your pieces. The most common first move is the king's pawn or e4. There are a ton of possibilities after the first move. Often openings transpose into one another as well. What are the rules of chess? Chess can be one of the most complicated games, and therefore it is important that both players understand all the rules of chess. The basic rules of chess are white moves first, and then each player can move any piece of their choice on their turn. Alternating turns. Each piece moves according to different rules by comparison to checkers where all pieces move the same. The game ends when one player is checkmated, a stalemate or a draw, or one player runs at a time. The king can never be taken off the board. Checkmate implies the king is in check and cannot move in the game's end. If a king is in check, it must move or the piece that is delivering the check must be captured. 
Otherwise, the king will be checkmate if neither can be accomplished. Neither side can capture their own pieces or land. On a square, their own piece occupies on the 64 square board. You may capture an opponent's piece as you move. If any of the eight pawns for either side gets to the other side of the board, that pawn will transform to either a knight, bishop, rook, or a queen, depending on what the player chooses. How do you win the chess game? To win a chess game, you will need to get your opponent into checkmate or into a position that that is considered losing, so they resign. How do chess pieces move? Pawns are the weakest chess piece, but by no means the worst. They move forward one square each turn, except for their first turn where they have the option to move two squares. While pawns can only move forward in one direction and never backwards, they only attack diagonally forward. Pawns cannot attack directly in front of them, as can be seen in the video. Knights are the second weakest piece by points, but they are amazingly unique with their movement. They are the only piece that can jump over other pieces. Think of their movement as an L shape. Bishops are slightly stronger than knights and can move diagonally forward and backwards. They cannot jump over other pieces and each bishop you start with occupies a different colored square for the entire game. They are confined to the black or white squares that each bishop begins the game upon. Rooks are the second strongest piece and can move forward and backwards in a straight line. The queen is the strongest piece, which combines the strength and movement of rook and bishop, allowing her to move diagonally or in a straight line in any direction. And lastly, the king is able to move one space in any direction. Are there any other special chess moves? There are other special chess moves. But, but it will take up our time in this vlog. So we will skip that for another time. Wait, can I play chess online? There are plenty of great sites online that you can play chess. However, when choosing to play on one side over another, I recommend checking out what other features there are besides playing with other opponents. Wow! So that means we can play even if we are quarantined? We definitely can! And that will be all for this vlog. We hope you found this informative and somewhat inspired you to play chess. Agreed! Now excuse us while we play a few rounds of the game ourselves. What? No fear! Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye!